everybody, and welcome back to the Dallas Arts Organization International Podcast. My guest today is Jose Carlos Serna. Mr. Serna is a uh, Xingyi teacher based in Madrid who spent several years studying in China, both Shaolin and Xingyi styles, and we're here today to find out about his training history and his current school. Uh, Jose, pleased to meet you. Uh, nice to oh. meet you. Thanks for inviting me uh, to your podcast. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to stay here. Oh, the pleasure's ours. And I'd also like to introduce uh, Jose's student, David, here, who's going to assist us with translation because my Spanish is not very good. So I appreciate you for being here today, Dave. Thank you. Thank you for having us on. Sure. So, Jose, I'd like to talk a little bit about how you became involved in martial arts originally. Um, I think you mentioned, I think I read on your website, you maybe got started when you were 16 years old around there. Yes, uh, something like this. I started like uh, 14, 15 years old. I started at this moment with the, with the style art in Spain. Uh, most of the style in Spain at this moment is uh, karate, judo, taekwondo, uh, full contact. In the 18 and 19 in Spain, I started to become a little famous, famous uh, full contact. So I started there. Uh, after like uh, two or three years, I started to think... Um, it's okay. I like one part, but I try to to find more deeply the understand. I think like uh, there are some things like uh, I can I can find there. So uh, I try to 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 find another style. Um, after uh, find uh, one person here in Spain in Madrid, he's from Colombia, but uh, training like so many years in in the Southern Temple in San Francisco in the United States. So uh, I helped him with another friends to, to open a, a school here in Madrid. I started to, to training with him like uh, for almost like uh, seven or eight years with him. I started to, 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 to speak a lot about the Southern Temple, China. But at this, at this time, we don't have so many, inform, so many information here in Spain about, the, about China and about the Southern Temple. So we don't know how to... How to go? How to enter the temple? Mm, so it's, it's it's little difficult because it's not like now you have all the information in internet. You just you just check in Google and you can find all the information. But at this time, I remember one tennis friend helped us uh, to write the direction of the Southern Temple or the Southern Temple the, the the characters in one paper, and with this with the paper I I, I left to China. Wow. I go to China. Uh, we we speak about the uh, two thousand, uh, two thousand something like this. Uh, I arrived in and almost uh, spent one week in the travel uh, to arrive to Solid Temple. So not really easy at this time. At this at this time, just only plan plane to go to for one week. No, for one month. Just training, uh, take the experience, and and come back to to Spain. But uh, after I start to to like very much the the life there. The training was really hard, like eight hours, nine hours per day, and the condition is the same, really hard. It's not like now, like you have accommod accommodation for the foreigners. Before it's not like this. Before one, it not was like this. Is the same like uh, for the Chinese people and for the foreigners. So it was really, really hard. But after the body, and we, I like very much the Chinese martial arts, so I said, okay, no problem. I'm already here, I tried my best to, to to keep the training there. Were, were you the only Spanish-speaking person there at the temple at that time? Were there other yeah. people? Yes, yeah. there are uh, three more foreigners, uh, one from Canada, uh, from Can Canada, Canada. Yeah. Another for France, another for Italy. Uh, we don't speak only only the Canadian guy speak a uh, little Chinese. Me and the other friends, we don't have, we don't spend anything. So we need to start to speak uh, to study Chinese yeah. and, and study all about the culture. Uh, at the, at this moment it was really hard, but after the, the time spent there. And it's really graceful for us. So how long did you spend training at the Shaolin Temple? Like three years, something like this. Three years. The two 
the the first two years, uh, for an example, after the last year, one friend introduced to me to the master of uh, uh, Siiba. Siiba is uh, one style inside the temple. Uh, the master, the headmaster is Siiba uh, Jian, and he lives now in the mountain, in another mountain, not in, not in the Songshan Mountains, near to the temple, but he don't, because now it's really, really annoying, too many tourist people there in the temple. So the, the, this master go another mountain near to the temple and build a, a temple for myself. And it starts training there. And I learned Siriva with one of his disciples. In this in the in the phone, the small village near to the solid temple. <laughs> and le learn Siva for almost like one year or something like this after the master died uh, with cancer. Because in this part of China there are so many like uh, uh, chemistry products put in the floor, sometimes like it's not really <laughs> help helpful. Yes, but uh, after it starts to continue, and I already know Siva, Tony Siva, but the Siva, there are like some source that start to relation it with the uh, Liu Hechuan. Yes, there are like really similar uh, movements in <coughs> Siva and Liu Hechuan. The style is different, but there are like some connections. Uh, we don't know if the Liu Hechuan influenced Siva or Siva. Includes uh, Liu Hechuan, but uh, when you train in the two styles, you see the almost the structure of the, of the body is almost the same. After there are like uh, movements or forms, they are different, no problem. But the, the body structure and the concepts is, is almost the same. So the body method for Shiniba and Shini Luha are basically the same, power generation is the same. Yeah. I think, I think, yes, I think. Uh, the uh, for, for, for the energy or the or the force the body the structure uh, is almost the same. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the structure of the, the cuerpo para el muelle para expandir. Yes, the body structure and the power generation. I mean, it's like a spring. I mean, you generate power by by way of like a spring, like contraction and expansion. So the body the body method is basically the same. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But in Shaolin Temple, you don't see this type of, of movements. Right. In the Southern Temple, it's almost, uh, I lived there for three years. I almost trained in like uh, 100 forms, uh, 10 weapons, but it's um, it's on, only, you train it outside your body. You train right. your body and become very strong. It's true. Yeah. But you don't, you don't train, you don't have, you don't have a method for training inside the feeling of the, of the movements. Mm -hmm. You do one form of uh, uh, Luohan Chuan, after you go, you train another Tanglan Chuan, and the, the, the body is the same uh, and just change the, the movements of the hands, but you don't feel any difference. But when you, you start to train in Siiba after you after C, your body starts to like transform, you start to feel the movements inside you and the structure of the body inside you. Mm -hmm. So it's like a traditional, uh, the different in, in traditional and modern martial arts. So was that the moment uh, when you began studying Shiniba? Was that when you realized that maybe you were uh, finding what you'd been looking for, style? Yeah, or... yeah. Uh, it's really different. It's really like a, a really ancient knowledge. Knowledge is really hard to find, but if you feel after you start to training, and the methodology of the training is really difficult. It's really different. In Shiniba, you start to train like one moment for months, mm -hmm. and just only go and go back. Go on the same steps, one week after one week, one month after one month. In the other styles, it's like a, this week, this month, you train one one form, yeah. finish, no problem. I start I start with another new. So you need to change all the mentality, all the concepts, all the ideas you uh, you have for, from from kung fu, because it's the, it's another like another way to train. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So after that, um, you went to Xi'an, uh, and 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 could you tell us about how you found your teacher there? Uh, yeah, after and after three years in Saudi, after Xi'an, my master died, so I don't have too much um, 
uh, opportunity. I, I, I don't know how to uh, how to tr keep my training because just only training one one year in Siniva, so it's really incomplete. Yeah, I don't have enough training with my master to keep the training for myself. So at this time, I think I I like really like I, I I enjoy very much my life in China. I don't want to come back to Spain, but I don't know how to find another master because China is really big, and you think all the people there training in kung fu maybe have little knowledge about kung fu like us about football. It's almost the same similarity, but professional. Players of football, there are few, 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 and professional master in China, there are few, 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 just only maybe a few hundreds. Right. It's really hard to find this type, this type of ancient knowledge in China. And you don't know how to find because there are no Facebook, no the website, no the Google. It's, it's, it's hard to find. If you go to the university, you can um, train in uh, wushu, modern wushu. It's really good, but it's not the same. Right. So when I was in Xi'an, I started to train. I I I start to study Chinese uh, Chinese uh, language, like professional, no, like a degree. Um, and I think okay for me the kung fu way, como es mi camino. Sí, the kung fu path is over. Uh, yes, my kung fu path is over. Like I'll finish. And I, w I went to Xi'an with my Italian friend. So I started to study together, but he want, he want to keep the training. So I study every day in the university and he go every day, every morning to the park in Xi'an. In the park, it's not like in Spain. The park in, in China, they have a lot of lives. There are people dancing, there are people play, there are people training Kung Fu. They are full of people there in the parks from six uh, morning, the morning to the, to the, to the night. But uh, he speak with the, some some people really interesting, but they they don't have too much uh, knowledge, deep knowledge. They just know some movements, for example, for the styles, uh, piqua or paqua, chan, just few movements. But they don't they are not really really uh, master the one style. After my friend go to the university in Xi'an for for us there. And they put the price like if you want to one form is uh, three hundred RMB, uh, two forms you have three hundred RMB, three forms. But it's the same. It's it's like dance. It's not like a, you know, like really not the real thing. Not a really a thing. And one day he said me he went to the a small. ¿cómo se dice? Pequeña, el barrio de pequeña comunidad fue sí, la de, de fue el community quarter, the Muslim quarter. Okay. Mm -hmm. In inside uh, in Xi'an. In Xi'an. Yeah. It's uh, around the mosque, around the main mosque. In yeah. Xi'an. And he uh, he went there to to take a dinner there and start to speak with the with the waiter, and all the people there, they like uh, thirty thousand people live there in the in the Hui Min Chu Hui Min Chu's minority. Uh, and I started to speak with the waiter because they are really friendly with the foreigners. And my friend said to the him, and the waiter started to ask, why you are in China? And my friend started to explain because he like a very much time martial art. And after the waiter, he knew the, the, the master, my masters. And he said to him, if you are interested to train in Xing Yichuan, we can like uh, appointment, uh, a reunion, a reunion. Ah, uh, I say, uh, 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 the this afternoon say to me, he my friend said to me, say, okay, no problem, we can try. At least we have another option, we can try. And the next day, we went together to to the to the mosque there and and, and speak with the master. And the master is not like a really interesting at this time, not really interested in your background, uh, what you training or nothing. It's like more question about your moral. Yeah. It's not like a, oh, do you know how many weapons do you know? Or how many uh, steps do you know? Or what do you train in? You know, what do you do here? Why do you don't want to train in here? Why do you want to train with me? How long you will train with me? For this master, for my master is the, the, the most important at this time. Because it's like a, he don't want to invest the time in, 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 in one person. After two weeks, he left. Yeah. 
this is a like really traditional way to to to, to teach uh, martial arts if you put all your force all your concentration all your energy in one in one person it's like full it's like full time for him yeah and we start three persons, my Ita the Italian, the Canadian, and, and me. Start uh, the next week. Start with him, and this was really difficult, dif really different from the from the Saulin because it's with repeat. It's like Siva, almost the same. The repeat. I remember the, the the first moments, pitch one, pitch one, and we almost training pitch one like uh, for three, four months, four hours per day, just only this step. Only my, after my friends become crazy, I say they left. This, this, this man is crazy. The master is crazy. No, he, I'm sure he will. Uh, he said to me, "I'm sure he he will don't don't teach us anything." Yeah. And training every day. Did you, when when he was just teaching you Pichuan, did you kind of know that that he knew exactly what he was doing, and in that's why you were patient and why you stayed and your friends left? Could you? Could you? Yes. Tell? After he said to me, I'm the como el que menos cualidades tenía para entrenar. I el que menos. He, I mean, his ma master Ren actually thought that uh, Jose was the the least skilled of the three students. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. perhaps he was the more yes. the most obstinate. You know? Yes, yeah. 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 yeah, it's like the and I think the for three because my friends was really good at this time and in other styles. Uh, the the problem. Me, I don't have anything to do more. Just only study the on university and the afternoon go to training with my, my master. So it become, become like a routine every day. And I don't think more. Like a, uh, maybe in five years, we will, I will get very good. I don't have any ambition. Just training. Yeah. Don't think too much. Yeah. And he yeah. said, do this, I do this. Uh, say, hey, training like two hours like this, I train like this. I don't ask anything. Because in the traditional way, it's not really good. It's not like uh, it's not really polite if you ask the master why I do this. Right. Yeah, because it's like no respect. It's like a, you, como es, uh, dudas, dudas. They have doubts as if you were questioning his knowledge. You know, so right. Right. you are not apt to ask your master questions. Yeah. Right. At this time, after he said to me, it's like a proof, like an exam. Yeah. Like if you get, if you keep your training for like a three or four months. Do these moments every day, and you keep your training. It's like you pass the sun. Yeah. If you left, like my friends, is okay, no problem. You can left and, and and go. So after four months, I start to training more, and I feel, I feel really comfortable with the training. At the beginning, it was really difficult, so I need to change the mentality because before I train so many movements, like bah, 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 jump here, and this is not. It's like a step, a step, a step, a step, a step. So I, I need to change all my mentality for training. And this is, uh, was really a little hard. Did he, I, I read on your website, you said that he, basically for the first year you did Pichuan and uh, Santisha, like standing meditation. How long would he make you stand typically in a day? The, the stand meditation, like the Santisha, uh, it's not like a more time, quite better. It's right. like yeah. routine. It's like oh. routine. You need to do every day. It's not like a four hours, five hours, or two months only. Only something because uh, after he will he will explain better in English. But uh, the most important, if you you feel the structure, after all the movements have the same structure. So it's not like a santish or pichuan or pengchuan. It's like this structure. It's all. It's the wall. All the body. If you feel this, you don't care if you train in 20 movements or 30 movements because all these movements are connected with this structure. If you don't have this structure, you can uh, you can train in like a 20 forms. It's the same. It's only hands and legs movements. Yeah. No the, the most, so, sorry, yeah. Yeah. No foundation. Like it, yeah. No foundation. No foundation. So. He uh, like uh, he is really constant with this uh, training, like uh, this movement, this movement, this movement. After you start to feel the body, the structure of your, your body, your back, your your shoulders, your this, this. But 
it's like a step by step. It's not like, a, okay, this month you need to do this or the next month you need to do this. With all the training, all your body I start to like transform it little, little, step by step, little, little. You know, like a three years, uh, Santis, after two years, pitch one, after three years, pitch one. Or every day, you're training the same. Every day. Every day, you're training the same. Because you're training the structure with all these movements. So, uh, could you tell me a little bit more about your master? His name is, um, let me pronounce it correctly, Runyan. Runyanian. Uh, Runyanian. Yes, Runyanian, he was, he started, like he said to me, he started training in Xinyi Chuan with uh, six years old, six, six years old. Um, he started to yeah, so keep the training. Now, uh, like 74, 75, and keep the routine. Maybe not like before, because the the most valuable things in, in Xinyi Chuan is the, uh, is one style, like uh, adapt your to your body. You can train it really hard when you are younger, but you can keep the training. When you are a little old, you can keep the training. And because all the people there at this time, all the people you they need the must to train it. or Shinji or Pakwa or Tai Chi or all these styles the calls like Chao Men, is the like a Muslim Muslim style. Tatuan. Uh, Pachi Chuan, you can turn in whatever you want, but you need training. You need to turn it's, uh, it's something inside the culture. Yeah. So he started to training uh, after, like, uh, at this beginning, he started to training like uh, four hours per day. She said to me, two hours, six morning to eight morning. I have to go to the school. After the school, another two hours. He said to me, like, there are so many, so many people go and come back, go and come back, but Few, few, few people start to to keep the training for all these years, all these years, and and they say he say it was really good, it was really good and really hard. The conditioning, o sea, conditionamiento, fortalecimiento, combate, tu hizo duro. Okay, so there was a, a lot of body conditioning, mm, yeah. of uh, hardening your your arms, your your hands uh toy show but a uh, toy show but practiced in a hard way in a combative way yeah. and also sun show like combat free freestyle combat a lighter sun is softer or harder but uh real combative real combat applications i mean there was that was really emphasized yeah i mean the combat the combative part of the of the styles and body conditioning uh sparring kind of sparring com combat application and, and that's it yeah and toy show yeah yeah, I wanted to ask you about that because that's actually um, part of the reason why I contacted you. I saw a video of you on YouTube where I think someone was interviewing you and took them downstairs and you were hitting a wall, you know, and you, you could see where yeah. you hit the wall for some time. And, you know, the, the body hardening is really important um, because if you don't feel that force, you don't know if your structure is correct or not. So I wanted to ask you about that. Um, could you talk a little bit about what sort of uh, techniques you used to to harden yourself during your training. What what sort of things would you do? Okay, when when I was training with my master, like the first three or four years, I start to, uh, start training only the, the the steps, different steps, the five uh, movements most important, chuan, pong chuan, pao chuan, chuan chuan, chuan chuan, and this uh after like a little routine, but after four years we go to the muske and inside there are like a small part for training like a big trees there are big trees and i start to training with them and con también con bolsas de llenas de hierro como se llama neumáticos llenos de yeah okay so, yeah so so they used to hit the trees i mean to to practice the palm strikes on the trees and also with sands filled with with iron filings or iron shavings things like that and also uh tires like rubber tires filled with iron with iron shaving sun. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, also did you use any type of medicine on your hands at that time? No, no, no. because no, no, because we we know that the part of the body can can it's can kick. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't we ne we never use this type of uh, this for kick. But we, we, I, I use this, the pump. Yeah. Because this is natural, you know, this is not like a 
they can, they can grow more more strong, but it's natural. It's not uh, for me. It's not impediment for my body. You know, it's not, not like see, or this part to you. this part, this part, or this part, but not this, not the articulation. The joints, no. not yeah. the joints. Never hit with the joints. Never hit with the bones. Yeah, with the raw bones or with right. something. Yeah. So there are methods for training. Good, good training, really hard training, but your body don't feel uh, any pain or after it will feel like uh, have a little problem in, in the articulate. Uh, the joint. In the, the joint. joints, mm -hmm. in the joints or something like this. But because like I said, you this this traditional martial arts, not only singing, all the traditional martial arts, there are, is, is a method like uh, they create like three or 400 years ago and they know the results. It's not like uh, 20 years or 10 years. There are so many generations training this way of, of this way of martial arts, this method of martial arts. So they know their results. They know. So, yeah. so uh, I train like a, after I go to the mosque, I train two hours, go and go and go back or go the movements, um, or another two hours with a tree. Like kick pam, pam, or pitch and boom, boom, every day, every day, and with all the structure, with all the structure, to all together, for produce more, more impact and more power. And here I here I'm now in the the cat hair shop because my my my, my girl have uh, is his the owners and down I have the like a small a small room with a wall is I turn it there because I'm, I don't have another place so I I, I adapt to the situation and turning like uh, 15 years I don't have any problem in my body I don't have a yeah. like pain here or here or only to stop the training because uh, I can move this part or something like this. Just yeah. train correctly. Yeah. So, how long did you stay with your teacher there in China? Uh, almost like ten years, something. Ten like years. This. Yeah. Yes. It's okay. not all after. It's not every day with him because after I start to train, I start to work like a tourist guide on mm -hmm. groups from Latin America or Spain. But the. the First five years is uh, was almost every day because it is the most important time, the beginning. For oh, don't don't do mis really big mistakes. Mm -hmm. If you at the beginning do uh, your training, you do mistake. After it's really hard to to to, to change the what mm -hmm. I hear to, to correct mistakes. To yeah. correct mistakes yeah. because your body is like a like a, a, a the the great uh, habit. So you need to be, after you need to think a lot. I I don't I don't want to do this again. I don't, and this is really tired, you know. It's more like a fluent, like a relax. If you have a really good tip and gone or basic movement is the best way because after your your mind is like don't need to, don't need to think. So we don't in the, in our class we don't separate like a meditation or something or training because it's the same. We as, we understand all like the same. If you go and come back with the movements, it's like you. Your mind is is in 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 a state of meditation. Yeah, you you enter a meditative style when you yeah repeat. yeah, yeah for sure over and over again yeah yeah you do it relax you do your structure and you become it's like movement meditation yeah, yeah. Med, like meditation in motion yeah yeah absolutely. So so during that time period, did he ever? Did your teacher ever talk to you about teaching? Did he ever encourage you to teach or say that he wanted you to teach? No, I asked him. Yeah. He uh, he didn't say to me. When I already know I will go back to Spain, I asked to him if I if I can teach. So uh, they said to me, okay, you want to teach? You need to teach like they no the same way because the mentality is different in Occident than in China. You can here in Spain I can teach like in China, like he teach me because it's impossible. It's, it's impossible because uh, like it's two hours with one movement it's impossible but almost the same almost the same like a sense is, is almost the same and sometimes he, I, 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 I I videos grab videos they record videos record videos to send yeah. to him <laughs> uh, what he think or something like this mm -hmm. yeah. so we keep the contact so you were gone from Spain for quite a long time when you came back. Now, what year was it when you came back? Uh, when, when did you return to Spain? What year? Uh, like seven years ago. 
something seven like years. seven years. Already. So had the uh, martial arts scene there changed very much in the time that you'd been gone? Uh, no, the, the traditional ones is the same. Maybe, maybe there are some new, like little, like uh, start to be, become a little popular, like uh, MMA right, yeah. or Jiu Jitsu, start now become really, really popular now in Madrid and Spain. But the traditional ones is the same, the same, not change a lot. And when I go back to Spain, there is nobody knows about singing. Right. Few people, like you no, know, like sometimes in the like a magazine, Kung Fu magazine, something like this, like a report, a small report about singing, but not really, not really in the profundo. No, they, they didn't really go deep into the study of Qing Yi. I mean, yeah. the knowledge was very superficial. Yeah. 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 So, yeah after I start with the one friend, with one uh, student up here, after with another one, and little, little after, after, it starts to, start to grow. We are not so many people, but it's okay. Now, now it's okay. Yeah. So how would you describe your student body makeup? Like, do you have, um, is it mostly younger people? Is it a mixture of younger and old people, male, female? No. Most of them, they are like a, like a, a curriculum already training martial arts for 20 years oh, or yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, not, not so many people like a, a start martial arts with a singing yeah. Because, for example, Kim, mm -hmm. that is training in China. He lived in China for more than 10 years. So you want to say, you get, well, I, I stayed in China also, like mm -hmm. also for, a, for a long time, for 16 years. I came oh, out wow. to Spain four years ago. Yeah. And during my time there, I had the chance to to study Tai Chi and uh, Tai Chi, and also I also did some boxing, which actually combines very, very well with Jose's approach to senior yeah. training. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, most of the people is like a 40, 50 years old, like they already know what they want to do. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, at the beginning, training Xi Chuan is little uh, like uh, boring, I think. Yeah, uh, little boring. Because the people have the culture of the films, the, like the uh, Jackie Chan, Jam. So after they start to train in singing China, after one step, only one step, training, 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 the most of the people they separate after the after one month, we don't come back. Yeah. So the, uh, you need to have a little idea of what you want to do. You know? So so uh, most of the people training there. Uh, like three or four students come from karate. So one of them, no, there are two of them. They already teach karate. They have really high uh, level in karate, but the problem they have the uh, lesion. Maybe because they train a lot, they train really hard. They have uh, injuries in the body. Yeah. So they don't want to train in like some some something really uh, muy suave. Not something soft and mild. Like the typical idea people have of Tai Chi, and right. they want to train something tough and hard, like like right. karate, yeah. but not so. Uh, I would say, yeah, not so aggressive to, to, to your body you know, because they right. already have a lot of training injuries. So, yeah, Chi is a perfect fit. Yeah, could you um, talk a little bit about your um, like the importance of actual? Uh, combat, for lack of a better term, or self-defense in your teaching style. Are you very? I, I've noticed what, when I've seen what interviews I've been able to find of you. You've talked quite a bit about how these things actually work in an actual confrontation. Is that something that you emphasize a lot in your teaching, in your day-to-day -day teaching? Okay, la estrategia, no, principal de la forma de combate, no. Sí, yo creo que habla sobre habla. Sorry, the question was uh, like. Uh, how, how much emphasis do you place on actual? Um, Actual combat, yeah, actual uh, combat, yeah. Or, uh, sí, sí. Yes, I, I think because two, uh, I think two two ways. The the first, you need you need to know what do you do, what the opponents do. The in, in Chinese the, is the the e the intention of the movements. If you don't understand the movements. The application of the moments, right. yeah, like your 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 hair, your, your head, your body is not useful. You, you do this because you do this, okay? Because my master said you do this, you do this, but you don't know how to how to use this. So 
my master's always put really big importance in this. What for what is this movement? Which part of the body you 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 kick at this time? After when you have two, three, four movements, you need to like a your combination. It's really similar uh, to boxing. Yeah. It's like boxing, almost the same. The structure is the same. They're very close, but we use different uh, like different uh, uh, strikes, no? strikes like a pitch one, but it's really hard too. It's yeah. a pitch one, a punch one, other, other. After sometimes I like uh, to train with another people from other martial arts, and, and you training with C is really useful. Yeah, because it's a. Uh, I have uh, it helped me. It's como sí. acortar mucho la distancia con un camión, romper la distancia y no separarte de la diferencia de los armarciales que a lo mejor va y viene, se separa y viene, pero mm -hmm. el Sinichuan es más como ir directamente a por él. Y okay. yes, of course, says that the, the strategy, the combat strategy in Sinichuan is different from other martial arts, perhaps more sports oriented, because you close the gap, you tend to, we try to close the gap very quickly and then stick to your opponent. I yeah. try to overwhelm him, you know, with your techniques and break his center line. So it's not it's not like like two jabs, then back, yeah. then Way. two jabs, yeah. you can keep your distance and yeah. yeah. You know, three minute rounds, it's different. Right. I mean it's intended to end the combat as soon as, as quickly as possible. Lo bueno de Sinichuan es que la estructura que utilizas para hacer tus entrenamientos y que te sirve para la parte interna es la misma estructura que en un momento dado da presión en la hora de combate uh -huh. es lo que va a, va a presionar al contrincante. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a very important point. I mean, there is no difference uh, between the way you train your structure when you're doing uh, San Pichu or Pichu or the basic movements. The, your body structure is the same body structure you're going to use in combat for power mm -hmm. generation. You keep that structure and that structure will give you the strength to overwhelm your opponent. So there is no separation between what you train and what you uh, use in combat. Yeah, that's yeah. the idea yeah, behind it. Yeah, and actually, it's the structure that gives you that um, ability to generate power and to withstand your opponent's power. Right. Yeah. So. You know, we have a, a lot of different styles competing for attention, you know, right now, like you mentioned, MMA and Jiu Jitsu are very popular all over the world, you know, that it seems to attract a lot of the younger people um, that are going into martial arts. Um, what do you think is the, uh, what do you think the internal martial arts like Shingi have to offer people in the 21st century? I think the most important is like, uh, like I said to you before, it's a, it's a style that already uh, have experience for 300 years so they already so many generation prove this style and useful for the health and for the uh, and for the combat because i have the the example of my master he's 75 years old and, and keep the training every day i have some students like i said to you i have some students from other martial arts they already have really hard injuries because they train very hard but in the city or another martial instead of martial arts if you train it harder or more time, it's better for the body. It's not like you pass the, the line, you you, you will have injuries. If you keep your training and training every day, uh, training constantly, you will become better and better and better. Internal or external, all together. We, we never separate like a internal or external. It's all together. It's like, like the world. So I think this is the best because maybe in the, some martial arts you're training very hard five years, but after you need to retire. I don't know if it's uh, it's really good investment of your time. Mm -hmm. I prefer to do something. Maybe it's not effective that, like uh, other martial arts for the for combat, but I can keep the training for all my life. Right. Seventy, eighty, uh, I, I don't care because now it's not like before. Uh, in Madrid, it's okay. It's not really dangerous city, so I don't need to have really, really hard skills. It's not like 300 years before in China. So, okay, I like to train in combat. I like to train in the application of the movements. But for me, noise the, the the most important. See, the most important is this style is useful for my life. How is useful? Uh, keep me healthy. Uh, keep me 
become a good person because I, I like to do this, so I'm I become better. Um, um, I'm find so, so many friends, so I'm more energy, more I can do more things. So the, I think this is the most important for me at this time. I agree. It definitely adds to your quality of life all the way around when you practice arts like these. Mm -hmm. So. We're just about out of time. I really appreciate you visiting with me today and talking with me. Uh, would you like to tell our viewers and listeners where they can find you at? Okay, I'm, I live in Madrid. I have the school here. Uh, I already teach here like uh, for five years, more school, but uh, step by step it is become, thank you to you, become more famous. And I hope more and more people start to, to understand and start to try this, uh, this traditional martial arts because I think it's like a treasure. Uh, I hope uh, don't disappear because now there are uh, too much modern, modern uh, style of life, uh, really quickly, the stress. And the most, I think the most important is put all these things in, in one thing can keep you calm. Yeah. All the people have the stress, me too, because I own a business. So sometimes the business is not good, I have stress. But the most important for me is I have a place uh, I keep I can put all this street in this place so I think it's the most value um, if there, there are people who want to, to, to take to keep the uh, to find the, the website uh -huh. is 3w uh, yes uh, okay. like point s uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 And we'll yeah. put links to that in the description so that everybody can check you out online. So, Jose Carlos Serna and David, thank you very much for talking with me today. Can you stick around thank for you. this? Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce me. It was my pleasure, truly. It was great talking to you.